Hello YouTubers. This is my homemade solar cooker. The idea of this is it takes the sun's rays and it concentrates them into one point in the center here and it can be used to, uh, to cook food. Uh, the official name of this is a double angled 12 sided solar cooker. It's also called a Pravati solar cooker. And there's plans for this on the internet. This is not my original design. So I'm going to put a link in this video's description uh, of how you can uh, build the cooker itself. But basically there's some measurements online and you can measure out a wedge shape like this. And I built mine out of corrugated plastic just for longer durability. Um, but you can draw out some measurements and you can trace these out and cut them and then you can tape them together. When you tape them together, it forms the basic paraboloid shape. On the inside of it, I ordered some adhesive reflective film online and it's 86% reflective and I attached it to the inside and that forms the reflective surface. You could use aluminum foil as well, but it's not as durable and not quite as reflective as this. So this I found is to be really good uh, as far as durability. When the sun heats the pot that's placed inside here, it's not just one single focal point. It's really kind of spread over a small area. And so it kind of heats the whole entire pan. Now, attached to the solar cooker, I built this little pedestal so it goes out this way and then it's supported on the outside here and this is all reclaimed wood that I used uh, for the base but it's using some building brackets you can see there I, I have like two L brackets that I turn like that and then I have a platform that the pot sits on cooking up pot there and this is usually for mending two pieces of wood together. So all this I found in the, the building supply section of hardware store. And that's what the uh, pot sits on. It's, it goes down a little bit because it needs to be lower down to match the, uh, the focal point exactly. So that's why it's kind of recessed down a little bit. There's a, a rod that I have here that kind of helps the stability because otherwise it's going to sag. And then what this is right here is this is a way that you can aim it towards the sun. So right now I have it facing away from the sun so that way for the camera there's not all the sun going into it. But now I'm going to aim it at the sun. Okay, So I need to pick this up and move it. I have a rock that's here and this gets put on top of the rock and so I can push it in or pull it back to match the angle. Now what you want to do is it has to be no shadow where this screw is. It means I need to push it in a little bit more. And now we see that there is no more shadow which means that now it's actually pointed at the sun. Okay. So if I put my hand inside here, it doesn't burn right away, but you can see that the rays are there, and if I keep my hand there long enough, yeah, it is going to cook my hand. So probably get my hand out of there, probably a good idea. Now what I use for a cooking pot is this right here. This is a, used to be two saucepans, and I got them from the dollar store. I unscrewed the handles and I use the same screws and everything to attach this hinge. So this hinge right here um, kind of makes a clamshell design. You can see there. So I'm going to put this on the cooker. This little uh, oven thermometer is inside and I'm going to show you how hot this gets. So I'm going to close this up and put this on the cooker just like that and I'm going to leave it for probably about a half hour or so when I come back and check it. 
just want to point out a couple more things about this design. Now there's two different angles that are here and the way this is, is this, as the sun moves across the sky of course you have to readjust it to keep it centered at the sun but you probably only have to do that about once every 45 minutes because the way that it's designed it catches all the sun's rays at different angles and so it's efficient that way and you can see here that the way this is designed is that the pot remains stationary but I can move this at different angles uh, to match the sun and again that's that's just done by moving that away because the rock uh, will set the angle that it's pointed at so I can move it forward or backwards to get it always into the sun so I just want to point that out okay it's been about a half an hour so now we're in, let's go check to see the temperature definitely got to use gloves here it's really hot and if you see that inside we're looking at about 375 degrees inside so that's that is hot definitely hot enough to cook all kinds of things out here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, do probably one of the things I cook the most out here I'm gonna hard boil some eggs okay youtubers uh, I'm gonna cook a couple eggs out here for you. So here's three raw eggs. And notice I'm not using any water for this at all, but after about a half hour, 45 minutes, these definitely should be hard boiled. So let's give it a try. Close this up and put it cooking pot in here. Okay. Gotta make an adjustment here. We need to move the sun and need to move it up a little bit more. That way it's directed right at, the, right at the sun. It's about right. And we'll give it about 40, 45 minutes. I should note that the uh, cooking pan I'm using is uh, very thin metal and it's black. This is the best you want to use for a setup like this because it'll absorb the most heat and it'll heat up the fastest. Okay, YouTubers, this has uh, been about mm, 50 minutes or so, so now it's time to check the, the eggs. So first I'll take it off the solar cooker. Alright. And first thing we see here is we got some eggs that have some brown on it, and that's that's normal. I only pour in some ice water. I'll cool these down a little bit, and I'll peel one of them. It usually helps to uh, peel the eggs if you soak them in ice water for a couple seconds. Peels come off real easy. And if you open it up right there, it just kind of opens up. It's real fluffy. So definitely these eggs are done. They actually come out fluffier than if uh, I use water. And I was able to cook these without using any energy whatsoever, just the energy of the sun. No electricity, no gas. Well, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.